I was a guest at the Fully Charged show in San Diego, and it was a fantastic show at that. In the ABCs of it, I was likely a solid D-, minus, which is still a passing grade for those of you scoring along at home. Whether or not you're homeschooled, kind of different matter. Aptera was there, and they presented their vehicle. And it was an absolute showstopper. Every day, from open to close, massive crowds. I'm Brian. Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. To be clear, the footage you're seeing here was shot while the exhibition hall was still closed. It had not yet opened yet. This was while a Dr. Know-it-all was doing his interview. It wouldn't even open for another half hour. The small crowd you're seeing was from other vendors and credentialed journalists who had to clear security just to get in. If you want to see the difference, here is what it looked like when the event was open. I'll let this run for a minute because it was absolutely bonkers. And it was like this all day, every day, because the Aptera car was just such a showstopper. The Aptera is unique in a handful of ways. First, it's a company that went broke, but rose from the ashes through crowdfunding by way of brutal honesty. They don't offer any pie in the sky, and unlike most of their competitors, no, they make it painfully clear that you can lose 100% of your investment. Yeah, that sounds grim. But I would argue that's a good thing. Tell your investors up front how likely it is they'll go broke instead of getting rich, and the expectations are set. Second, it's a very, very unique vehicle. Retro-futuristic, perhaps. It's ultra-sleek and like nothing you've ever driven before, and likely like nothing you've ever even seen in person before. And the biggest feather in their cap, at least as far as I'm concerned, is that they have hired Monroe & Associates to work it up from a dream into an actual production vehicle. That means simplified production, simplified processes, and vastly easier manufacturing, which means, of course, a vastly lower price to produce it. Monroe has offered this service to a lot of companies, and many of them have still failed. Well, that's no blemish on Monroe. It all comes down to whether or not they actually listen to the advice. Some do, some do not, and you can quickly tell which is which. So, uh, let's take a listen uh, to the interview. Hey, Brian, thanks for coming over to see us. Yeah, yeah, make it. So tell us what has changed about the Aptera. Uh, the Aptera is ever evolving through our four steps to production. We had Alpha, uh, we built three of those. You may have so- seen them in videos. We had a silver one, a white one, and a black one. Uh, we evolved that into Beta, which was uh, much more raw looking, but much more finished in terms of engineering. Um, it was kind of greenish shell, took Sandy Monroe out in the test drive, and he, he said, woohoo! Um, <laughs> and now this is Gamma. Uh, which is one step before our production vehicle. So we consider this to be an 80% production contented vehicle, and the next version will be a 100% contented vehicle. We hope to have that vehicle done by the end of the year. And the changes from this um, back a generation is we've worked really hard on the aerodynamics. We've done thousands of iterations of computational fluid dynamics on the wheel pans. The suspension is much smoother. The nose is lower and pointier. We made the whole vehicle actually longer but we uh, increased the passenger compartment 1%, making it actually bigger so it's more comfortable for people. And we've uh, obviously put a lot of pieces of the puzzle together on the, the content of the vehicle, battery packs, solar production, um, braking systems, ADAS, all that fun stuff. tell me about what we got going on right here. So the standard Aptera comes with a solar dash and a solar hood. 
Uh, you can option up, sorry, solar dash and solar roof. Right. You can option up to get the solar hood and a solar rear hatch. If you have all the panels, you get about 40 miles of free solar charging a day in sunny Southern California. Zero fuel cost driving. The average American driving an ICE car these days is spending over $5,000 a year on fuel. If you buy a $25,000 Eptera, that's like a five-year payback and you've completely paid off the Eptera just in fuel cost. If I go online and buy a solar panel, where is that made and where is yours made? Uh, if you go and buy a solar panel, it's made in Asia. If you buy a solar panel from us, it's made in Carlsbad, California. And look at that. Describe it. Um, so these it's are powder crystalline cells, so they're more flexible. And we have to build every one of our panels in a compound curve. So it curves this way and it curves this way. Uh, the bus bars in between are a little more showy now than in production, but we wanted people to really notice the solar cells, so they kind of outline the cells. But I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the blue cell is in the middle, and then the black is the outline on the outside. Let's head around the back. Tell me about the rudder. Tell me about... The, uh, the rudder is a replaceable piece of foam, so you can, uh, if you get into a, a little fender bender, you can just take it off. Um, or if you want to tow a trailer, um, a trailer hitch would attach to a storage box that's down here and you would take that piece off and, and put your trailer hitch on the back of the Eptera. I was thinking tow trailers? Mm -hmm. I didn't think it could do that. Little guy, sure. We, uh, and the style is just mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Now, um, tell us about what Sandy did to make this uh, Sandy has been advising us since the very beginning of the company and his advice is reduce parts, reduce complexity, make things do multiple service in your design and that's exactly what we did. The whole body structure of this vehicle is only five parts. Um, you know, Elon Musk is spending lots and lots of money to try to reduce the part count on his Tesla vehicles and we've done it here. Five parts is a tub, is a base plate top, is a front cowl and two sides that's the whole body structure. And as I said, when we tested this before, uh, through Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, we had the highest roof crush strength of any passenger car on the road. So um, he's helped us simplify things of any. of any passenger car on the road. So he's helped us also simplify the manufacturing process by telling us to go to sub-assemblies. So this vehicle consists of only six sub-assemblies to make the whole vehicle. Battery pack, front suspension, rear suspension, body structure, closures, interior, that's it. That's the whole vehicle. So we can build an Aptera stem to stern in about two hours, 12 stations, 12 minutes each, and you build an Aptera in our factory up in Carlsbad, California. We can build 40 vehicles a day on one shift and 80 vehicles a day on two shifts, and we hope to have that production started in 2023. Price and reservation. The base price for the Aptera is $25,900. You can go to aptera.us to reserve one. Another interesting aspect of our company is we're open for investment. So um, there's a, a thing called crowdfunding nowadays. And 10 years ago, it wasn't a thing, but now it's a thing. Wouldn't you have loved to invest it in early Tesla or early Google? You couldn't 10 years ago, but now through crowdfunding, you can invest and buy a piece of Eptera, a growing company, and come along the journey for us as we build and deliver these vehicles and hopefully uh, rush to an IPO in the next year. How many people do you think are even going to charge them? Um, for the vast majority of driving, you just don't need to plug the Aptera in. The average daily commute is 31 miles in California. It's a little less in other parts of the country um, and even less in Europe. But with 40 miles of solar charge range a day, you just never have to plug it in. If you do, you can plug it in in the rear here. And with just a 110 outlet, you can get 150 miles of charge into the Aptera overnight. So you don't have to buy any big, expensive, fancy chargers. You just plug it in with an extension cord and everything works. Um, you know, the real ethos behind this vehicle is first principles engineering. Make it aerodynamic, make it lightweight, make it efficient powertrain, give it solar power. Everything is possible then. We're able to offer a very inexpensive vehicle because we use a fifth of the energy of some of these big EVs that are coming out now. That means we have a fifth of the battery pack. So that's uh, much less cost for us to build the vehicle, but still gives you plenty of functionality, range, and happiness. Fewer atoms. Fewer atoms. <laughs> Is there anything I'm forgetting to ask? Um, you know, we, uh, we already have a very passionate crowd of uh, Aptera enthusiasts. Uh, we hope that your 
uh, subscribers will dig in and watch other YouTube videos on Aptera and hopefully reserve one for themselves. And uh, we're just looking forward to getting this vehicle into production in the next year. Thank you. All right, Brian. So that's it. That's Aptera. I mean, um, I'm not quite prepared to invest myself. I haven't seen the factory. I haven't seen anything other than what we saw at the show. It looks fantastic, but, uh, you know, I would uh, need to see it myself, I guess. Uh, there's not the depth of coverage that we see with some other companies, so I love these guys. I love their mission. I love their product. I'm not saying it's a no for me. I'm saying uh, it's a maybe, and I would love to see more, but we shall see. So, uh, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your comments below, and a huge bucket of thanks to my Patreons who get early access bonus content, an exclusive look at my 11-year production prediction tracker at the $10 level and above, and, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, for the rest of you, you know, subscribe and like and leave a comment and all that. Who knows, man? Maybe some of it means something. I don't spill my big fat boobies out like some other channels do, and they're very successful with it, and I applaud them for their success. I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm a detractor. I would say I'm an only fan. So there you go. So what did I miss or misunderstand and all that good stuff? And stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots. All upon that flippity, dippity, doopity dop. <laughs>